You may already be familiar with Nintendo Switch 2's built-in game capture recording feature, where if you press the button on the bottom left Joy-Con with the little circle on it, that'll record the last 30 seconds of gameplay, which you can then access using Nintendo Switch's app on your iPhone or Android device. I gotta say, it's definitely a nice to have feature of the Nintendo Switch 2, but it's limited. You're missing out on being able to capture gameplay with your microphone commentary, game chat, longer recordings, and even live streaming. So that's where capture cards come in to help. These devices essentially act as a middleman between your Switch 2 and your computer, allowing you to be able to pull in your gameplay into streaming applications such as OBS Studio and Streamlabs Desktop. Now I have two different types of capture cards to show you. One will be with the Nintendo Switch 2 docked, and the other one will be without the dock. So looking at the first capture card here. This is the Avermedia Live Gamer Ultra S. This is one of your more standard HDMI 2.0 capture cards where you'll need to have the Nintendo Switch 2 console docked and have the HDMI cable coming from this console into the HDMI in slot of this capture card. Then using the HDMI cable that came with this capture card, you're going to plug that cable into the HDMI out slot and then the other end of that into your TV or monitor so that you can see your gameplay. From there, you're just going to need to plug in the provided USB-C to USB a cable from the capture card into your computer or laptop. It can be a Windows or a Mac computer. This will work either way. If you have everything plugged in correctly, you should have a physical setup following this diagram that you see on screen. And when you go into OBS Studio, you'll be able to go to one of your scenes, go to your sources, select the plus button, and then find the video capture device source name it, whatever you'd like. And then you're just gonna wanna select the drop down and find your capture card. In this case, it's the Live Gamer Ultra S. And when you select it, you're gonna see your gameplay pop up on screen. And then from there, you can either stick with the default resolution settings, or you can use the custom ones, which is what I usually like to do. And you'll find with this particular capture card that you can record your games up to a 4K 60 resolution. With your settings set, you're all good to go. You can select OK, and you're gonna see your gameplay up into your OBS project. Now, I realize, hey, maybe not everyone cares about recording in 4K 60, and even not even wanting to use the dock, especially if you're on the go. Well, there's another set of capture cards that you can pick up. These ones are also from Avermedia and it's a part of their Go series lineup, but these capture cards are not used over HDMI, but rather USB-C. So if we take a look at their extra Go capture card, you'll wanna plug in the USB-C cable on the bottom of the screen because this is gonna essentially mimic the docking effect. The other end of that cable will plug into the USB-C input on the far left-hand side. You'll also wanna supply power to this device, so you're gonna need a second USB-C cable, which will plug into some sort of power supply or power brick and then the other end into the capture card. And then to connect this capture card to the computer, you're gonna need one more USB-C cable, and that's gonna plug into the port with the laptop icon on it, and then the other end of that cable plugs into the computer. To add this capture card into OBS, you would follow the exact same method that we did for the first capture card by adding the video capture device source, and then just selecting the capture card from the device dropdown. What's extra special and honestly a bit rare with this capture card is that you don't actually even need to use a computer with it. It comes with an SD card slot where you can literally connect everything up minus that last USB-C cable that goes to the computer and just press the button here on the front to capture 4K 30 resolution gameplay. Now the other capture card you might have seen in my hand is this one here and it doesn't even look like a capture card. So the way that this one works is that you need to plug it into a wall or an outlet, and then you just need two USB-C cables to go along with it. The USB-C cable that you plug into the 100 watt max port is gonna go to the Nintendo Switch 2 console undocked. The bottom USB-C port with the laptop icon is gonna connect to your computer. From there, you can go into OBS Studio and then add the video capture device source like you would the other capture cards. Now you will be able to play your games up to a 4K 60 resolution, which the Switch 2 outputs in docked mode, but you won't be able to record in that quality. You'll only be able to capture up to a 1080p 60 resolution. Now, the big caveat using the Go series capture cards with the Nintendo Switch 2 is that you can't technically play it in a true handheld mode. It's going to black out the screen either way using the USB-C connection on the bottom of the Switch. 
That's just how it's designed. There's no real way around this. So your two main options for being able to see your gameplay while you're trying to capture it is that number one, you can use the HDMI out ports on these capture cards to connect an external display. That I'd say is the simplest fix if you have a TV or a mobile monitor with you while you're out and about trying to capture gameplay. Now, what if that's not an option for you? Well, you can always go to OBS Studio, right click the capture card source that you've added and then look for the full screen projector source option when you select that this will essentially turn your computer screen into a full-size gameplay window yes there is a little bit of latency ever so slight but if you're playing games that don't necessarily require that fast immediate response time this is honestly very playable and can definitely work well enough if you don't have an additional monitor on hand as a part of the go series evermedia has their core go charging adapter so it actually is what it looks like but it essentially gives you the same benefits of the elite go capture card just minus the capture card feature so it just charges things up which is what all of these go series devices can do the usb a ports on the go devices allow you to extend the number of devices that you can connect to the switch to such as a microphone mouse and keyboard all right now next i wanted to touch on the audio component of setting up these capture cards and this will apply across all the capture cards that i've talked about in this video so if you're on a windows computer you should have seen your gameplay audio get added automatically automatically along with your capture card source. On Mac, you'll need to enable this manually by adding in an audio input capture source and selecting the capture card. Once you do that, you should see your audio coming through on the right hand side in the mixer. The next part to this is being able to hear the audio coming from the Switch too. One of the easiest ways you can listen to your game audio is by simply plugging in a pair of headphones into your monitor. But I know everyone that's watching doesn't necessarily have an audio jack on their monitor. So back on your computer, you're gonna wanna go to your advanced audio properties and then find the source, which is your capture card audio source, and then scroll over to the right to where you see the monitor off option select that drop down and you're going to want to switch that to monitor and output with that set you can plug in a pair of headphones into your computer or microphone wherever your audio is flowing to so that way you can listen to all of your game audio and i did test this out also using the chat features that are built in with the nintendo switch 2 and it actually worked check this out i said i'm in first place and i've never even played this map before As you can see, we were able to record all of the game audio with chat along with the video picture in solid quality and you guys can do it too using any of the capture cards that I showcased in this video. I've put links to them in the description below. Thank you to Evermedia for sponsoring this video. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, feel free to put them in the comment section. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.